Hey, it's Zach. It's the Best Advice Show. One of my favorite guests from recent memory is Anne Cadet. I first spoke to her about the fact that she wears the same thing every day. I found it fascinating and potentially very helpful as advice. Life is really short and there's not a lot of time. And at some point in your life, you have to get serious about what is worth spending your time on and what is not. When I talked to Anne over Zoom, I noticed it wasn't just her fashion sense that embodied minimalism. I looked over her shoulder and noticed a very spare bookshelf. But I know that she reads a ton, so I wondered, tell me what's your advice for people who are um, trying to figure out their their bookshelf life? Hmm. First of all, I don't know if almost everyone has read um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Mm Mm-hmm. But she advises that you hold each object in your hand and just understand how you feel about it, right? So I did that with my bookshelf. Um, I used to have maybe five times as many books as you see now. And I actually literally took out each book and I looked at it and I'm like, how do I feel? And a lot of these books I had were books um, you know, from my college days. Like I majored in philosophy and I was really into it at the time. And I would just like take them off my bookshelf and I just feel like really heavy. Or I'm like, these are books I really have just to impress somebody. Like, my dad. <laughs> you know, I'm too old. <laughs> this is ridiculous, right? Like, do I, do I like this book? Do I want it hanging around on me? Is this book my friend? Um, if not, right out to the trash. Oh, and a lot of this is like hanging on to somebody that you used to be, right? Like, I used to be like totally into urban planning. Or I went through a phrase, or phrase where I was totally into philosophy. And like... It was great, and that's kind of part of me now, but I don't really care that much that I'm going to, like, crack open Plato again or, like, some thing with, like, street diagrams of Charleston, North Carolina. I just don't <laughs> care anymore. So it's important that my books reflect who I am now and not who I used to be. That's it. That's it. And that's ever-evolving, so your bookshelf is going to be evolving, too. Yeah, I think every half a year you should really go through the whole bookshelf and go through that process for sure. Where do you take your books? Oh, Brooklyn is so wonderful. I live in Brooklyn Heights, and there's a million places which have, like, free book swaps, like little free lending libraries. So I just go stick my books in there, or I'll just, like, put them on someone's stoop somewhere. And I get most of my books that way, too. Um, So it's fun, and I don't feel bad about throwing the books away because I'm not. I know that the books I have are things that other people in my neighborhood will be interested in. So it feels really nice. It's a fun thing to do. It's not a chore. Anne Cadet is a journalist, and she writes the delightful newsletter, Cafe Anne. You can subscribe by going to the link in our show notes. So when I released the first episode featuring Anne about how she wears the same thing every day, I was having some issues with my audio feed, and I realized that a lot of you might not have gotten that episode, which I feel terrible about because honestly, it's like one of my favorite episodes. So I'm going to re-release that episode in its entirety. Just look for it in the feed. It'll be a bonus episode called uh, Wearing the Same Thing Every Day with Anne Cadet. Thanks for listening. If you love this show, will you leave me a rating or review at Apple Podcasts? Tell me what you think of it. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon.